While some actors have successfully leveraged boys' love roles as a stepping stone to mainstream fame, others have had less favorable experiences and are not willing to return to the genre. Here is a list of actors who have decided not to take on BL roles again. Nanan Korapat has been on TV since he was three months old but only entered the world of BL in 2021 as Pran in Bad Buddy the series. Initially hesitant about taking the role, he was cast alongside one of his best friends at the time, Om Pawat. When the series finally aired, it was a resounding success, catapulting both actors to greater heights. Fans started shipping them together, some even claiming they were a real-life couple based on their close relationship. However, Om and Nanan had a falling out. No one knows exactly what happened, but they stopped talking publicly, looked uncomfortable, and would stand apart at company events. Nanan deleted all pictures of him and Om from his Instagram page, blocked Om Nanan fan accounts, and even tweeted a cryptic quote, some things that have passed will never come back. GMM, their joint management company, halted their CP merchandise and paired Om with newcomer Ling for his upcoming BL. Fans didn't take kindly to these developments. Some started harassing Ling, while others hired protest trucks and paid for Om Nanan forever billboards. Most blamed Nanan for killing the ship, and he received a lot of hate on his IG page. To distance himself from the hate, he took a break from acting to focus on his music, but the fans followed him there, even showing up with Ohm masks at his concert. These obsessive fans destroyed any chance of reconciliation between Ohm and Nanan. Seeing how crazy some BL fans can be, it seems likely that Nanan is done with BL entirely. Mean Firovic gained fame in 2018 after playing Tin in Love by Chance. After that, he appeared in a few other BL dramas before switching to mainstream dramas. When asked if he would return to BL, he said he would only do so if he were old or in need of money, which angered BL fans who thought his comment was rude and homophobic. In another instance, he said he would be fine acting in BLs as long as he wasn't playing a gay character, but his return would ultimately depend on his partner since he didn't want to act alongside anyone besides his Love by Chance co-star Plan Rathavit. Mean added that he didn't want to do more BL dramas to avoid being typecast and getting stuck in a genre that could lead to a stagnant career. He wants to broaden his horizons with directing or taking on more challenging roles. It's safe to say Mean will not be kissing men on screen ever again. Saint Suppapong debuted as Pete in Love by Chance opposite Perth Tanapon in 2018. While fans love their pairing, trouble was brewing behind the scenes. Perth's manager reportedly hated Saint and spread malicious and defamatory rumors about him, including calling Saint a prostitute and saying he slept with higher-ups because his dad is dead and he needs to take care of his mother. Perth's manager would tell event planners that if they excluded Saint, they could get Perth and other boys for a lower price. Saint and Perth couldn't work together anymore, so Saint decided not to continue with Love by Chance 2 or any more sequels. Fortunately, Perth and Saint have reconciled personally, but Saint was under a lot of attack and pressure, thinking about quitting acting altogether. He reconsidered and took another BL role alongside Z Pruck in Why Are You, but things didn't get any better. Thai fans who were still hung up on Perth Saint hurled abuse at Z, impacting his mental health significantly and leading him to take a year-long break. Saint didn't receive his payment on time, and Z's manager Aof allegedly used the sponsor money and money from the merch to renovate his house. This led to fan wars between both sides, and since Saint and Z are with different companies and their managers hate each other, they easily cut all ties and went their separate ways. After that, Saint said he would not be part of a BL couple ever again and created Idol Factory to make shows without the toxicity he had endured. He continues to act in Lakerns and BLs, but his BL CP days are behind him. Chu Young Woo debuted through a BL, gaining exposure, and many dedicated fans who supported him throughout his career. This BL opened the doors for his acting career, leading him to fame and fortune. However, despite this newfound success, he now refuses to acknowledge the very role that made it all possible. He has been trying to erase any trace of his involvement in the BL, deleting all photos from his Instagram but keeping every single photo of his other roles. He also fails to mention his BL role during his acceptance speeches for major awards, which is hurtful to his fans who supported him from the beginning. Using BL as a stepping stone for his career is fine, but pretending it never happened after gaining mainstream success is disrespectful to the cast, crew, and fans of You Make Me Dance. It's also seen as homophobic. Some argue he did this to distance himself due to South Korea's conservative and homophobic society, preserving his career. Either way, it's clear he is not starring in a BL again. God Ithapat, who played far in the original Two Moons series, decided not to continue beyond the first season, despite the series being planned as a trilogy. This disappointed fans of the Two Moons novels, who felt he shouldn't have chosen a three-part series if he only saw BL as a stepping stone. 
There were also rumors about God being disrespectful towards his co-star Bashuradej Pinarat, wiping his lips after a kiss scene and having kiss scenes removed because he didn't like them. God also faced controversy when a personal video leaked, showing him pleasuring himself. This likely impacted his public image and career. Claims that he was uncomfortable with gay roles and fan service led to speculation that his agency prevented him from continuing in the series and interacting with the cast, particularly Bass. Although he made a cameo in Reminders, he expressed his decision to not do BL anymore, supported by his management. During the pandemic, Gaia Sa Pelicula was a source of comfort for many Pinoy BL fans, featuring Ian Pongilinan and Paolo Pongilinan. After a writer controversy, the cast and crew wanted to work together on rewriting the second season. Executive producer Cor Canaries clarified that Paolo Pongilinan wanted to continue the series. However, Paolo later tweeted that there would be no more Pang Pang or Gaia Sa Pelicula content for him in the foreseeable future. A year later, Paolo spilled the tea on why the show's planned second season was cancelled, posting cryptic tweets about his former castmates. He said the series was cancelled again, and he decided to pursue being a doctor. He mentioned confronting a former cast member for calling him trash but getting no answer. Paolo claimed he was blamed since he was the loudest and had no filter when speaking his mind. He sought therapy and felt proud of himself for not doing the second season. He has since decided to follow his medical studies full-time. The success of the Chinese BL drama Addicted Heroin propelled the four main actors, especially Johnny Huang and Timmy Su, to overnight stardom. Their on-screen chemistry and off-screen interactions garnered a significant fan base who shipped them as a real-life couple. Despite its success, the drama was abruptly removed from Chinese streaming websites in 2016, three episodes before the season finale because homosexuality is illegal in China. Although the series was cancelled, the popularity of the two main actors continued to soar. They appeared together in interviews, magazine photo shoots, and on Weibo, delighting fans. However, in 2016, they were unofficially banned from appearing together on Chinese TV or events. Their recorded appearances on Chinese variety shows were never aired, and at a fan meeting, they were swiftly separated by security guards. There was no official announcement regarding the ban, leaving fans puzzled and disappointed. The two can never work together again, much less in another BL drama. Gulf Kanawat debuted as type alongside Mu Sapazit in Tarn Type. The actors engaged in so much fan service that fans started thinking they were a real couple. Gulf had a girlfriend during Tarn Type, but they broke up due to the hate she received from Mu Gulf fans. Years later, Gulf admitted that the situation was overwhelming and that he didn't handle it well, feeling bad for his ex-girlfriend. After their work together concluded, Mu and Gulf drifted apart. Their fans persisted, constantly requesting pictures and updates about their relationship. Mu later addressed this in a series of tweets, clarifying that he hadn't been in touch with Gulf for over two years and emphasizing that their fan service was simply part of their job and meant nothing. He ended his rant by telling his fans to get a mental health check. Mew has appeared in more BL dramas, while Gulf has focused on heterosexual roles since their drama with Mew and their fans, indicating he may not return to BL. BL fans came to know Elijah Canlis after his critically acclaimed role as Cairo in the Pinoy BL Game Boys. In a recent interview, he explained why he is currently refraining from accepting gay roles, I want to give other queer actors an opportunity. I know many talented queer actors, and I would be proud to see them represent themselves in these roles. While I am an ally who supports and understands the struggles of the LGBTQIA community, I am not a member of this community. They understand the struggle better. While this decision could mean he just doesn't want to do BL roles anymore, it's a respectable choice. Chimin Watcherwit who has one BL under his belt, is also unlikely to return to BL dramas. He was set to star in GMMTV's Perfect Ten Liners alongside his co-star Perth Tanapon. However, he has been diagnosed with depression and had to take time off work as a result. But because Perfect Ten Liners is in production, GMM had to replace him, pairing Perth with Santa Pongsapak. GMM stated that Perth and Chimin agreed to end their work as a pair. The statement also said Chimin will continue with his heterodramas once he is feeling better. This is actually a good thing because Chimin looked uncomfortable in that role. His chemistry with Perth was sorely lacking. Bright Vatrawit made his entertainment debut in 2004, but it was his role as Sarah Wood alongside Win Meta Win in the BL drama Together, released in 2020, that launched his career. Despite the drama's success, the actors were criticized for their lack of convincing physical attraction, looking more like friends than lovers. After that, they never appeared in another BL. Either they refused to take on more BL roles, or GMM realized their limitations and didn't try to force them. Afterward, they appeared only in heterosexual dramas, and Bright began focusing more on his music career. 
In 2023, Bright cut ties with GMM and started his own company to gain control of his career. Although these actors seem to have moved on from BL, we can't rule them out completely. Perth had said he was done, but Aof convinced him to come back for Dangerous Romance. After all the trolling, Z Pruk also considered quitting but is firmly back to kissing boys. So, never say never. But what do you think? Do you care they are gone? Let me know in the comments.